Development of the Journey of Life, Transformational Devotionals and Bible Studies. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz, and I'm continuing my series on Transforming Stress into Blessings. In fact, this is the last video that I will be doing on this topic. So before I get started, if you would like a free devotional plan that is for sure to bless your socks off, then look below in the description box and you will find the information. You can also look on the screen or the website where you can download that free plan. All right, let's get started. I am going to start with prayer. Thank you, Jesus, that you are gentle and humble in nature and we can come to you anytime for true rest. Help us to lay down our busy lives and choose to sit at your feet. In Jesus' name, amen. So my scripture reading for today is Genesis 2, 1 through 4 from the message. And as I've said in previous podcasts, I really encourage you to read the whole chapter so you can get the context. But I'm going to specifically read verses 1 through 4 in Genesis chapter 2. All right, so heaven and earth were finished down to the last detail. By the seventh day, God had finished his work. On the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day. He made it a holy day, because on that day, he rested from his work. All the creating God had done. And I am, by the way, reading from my book, 31 Day Blessings Journey. So here are my devotional thoughts, and I hope you find this encouraging. God did not hold anything back. He created in detail and completely finished the work. He worked hard and diligently for six days and then rested on the seventh. He called that day blessed because he rested. Resting is not a curse. It is a blessing, a much needed respite after working diligently. Blessing comes when I work and create and give it all I've got. When I finish the work to every last detail, but when I finish a project, it is a blessing to rest. In our culture, we swing to two extremes. Whether we work, either we work and work until we're sick or even dying, or we are lazy and don't finish anything or work half-heartedly. Thus the culture of incompetence we live in today. Then there's perfectionism. There's a difference between that and excellence. Perfectionism is pride in your ego. You want to glorify yourself. Excellence is taking pride in your work because you want to glorify God. What God blesses is a balance of hard work, creative work we can take pride in. Again, not for self-glory, but for God's glory. And a time of rest to revel in our accomplishments and recharge our batteries for the next creative project. This passage strikes me again as relevant as at the time of my original journey entry, journal entry, I finished two weeks of very hard work. I scrubbed my house from top to bottom and finished painting two rooms. Oh wow, I need to get that industrious around the house again. Now, as I originally wrote this, I set out on my back patio I reveled in this little rest. Yes, writing these devotionals was a huge source of rest to me. And even doing these videos and the podcasts are. But beyond that, I was determined to take a few days off, especially from house cleaning and painting. I try to do this on a daily basis as well. It balanced between physical work, brain work, and rest. It's a challenge sometimes. But I know that life is not a sprint, it's a marathon. I therefore have to pace myself. Once again, I find myself with a big deadline, and I'm just trying to breathe, trying to get it all done. Anyway, my response, or my application to that, is a renewed commitment to work hard on what God's given to me, and a commitment to regularly resting, to surround myself with blessing, especially after working hard. So after, after this round of crazy deadlines, I'm hoping for some kind of rest or fun, rest and fun. So for me, you know, that can be meaning to listen to music or play piano or the fun part, and it's restful to me too, is to go hiking, hiking in the mountains especially. 
So my challenge to you, how do you view work and how do you view rest? What are you modeling to your children? Does it line up with what you teach them? Evaluate this area of your life and strive for balance. And remember, don't look for perfection. I love the saying, progress, not perfection. So keep that in mind. All right, here is your activity for you and your family. And this is a fun one. Study dinosaurs from a Christian world viewpoint. There are many resources on the subject and is it, it is extremely fascinating. Here are two sites to get you started and I will put those in the description box below. below. An article from the Christian Courier and an article from Answers in Genesis. And I'm sure that in whatever town or region you are in, there's a museum. I know just west of us in Woodland Park, there's a fun dinosaur museum. And then in Denver, there's a natural history museum. So, you know, there's all sorts of things. If you really want something hands-on, then there's dinosaur digs. There's all sorts of things you could do. Even as simple as, like in Five Below, we have the store Five Below. I noticed that they have dinosaur digging kits. So it's even something that simple. All right, so let me end in prayer. Faithful God, we extol you for the way you created this world. You are a God of wonders. Help us to view work and rest the way you view work and rest. In Jesus' name, amen. So as I said before, I am reading these devotionals from my book, 31 Day Blessings Journey. And you can find that on the same link that you can find the free blessings plan. And you can get this in a book format. You can order it from Amazon. You can order it directly from me. And I also have a journal. And let me show that to you. That you can use that in conjunction with the 31 Day Blessings or you don't have to. But it has, it's like a bullet journal, but it's a cheap bullet journal where I've already presented and drawn everything for you. And you just have to write in those boxes. Things like, I need to surrender to God. And you write those things. My worries and burdens are others I'm praying for. My prayers for my family and myself are the three tasks God is calling me to do today is I am thankful for, I have been blessed by, God is so great because... And then I have a little, you know, like date and scripture up here. If you, you know, in your devotional, if you have a scripture that you're reading and you can do my response is, well, actually before that, what God is saying to me through his word, what my response is. That's basically an application. So that is the idea behind the journal. I do sell them in a set. You can, again, find those in the link below in the description box. And just a little more. You know, this is what it looks like, and it's great for your whole family to really help you cope with stress and learn how to trust God through it. So it's kind of like, oh, yesterday, my live-action role-playing club, we were doing a unit on the Odyssey. And what I love about the Odyssey tale is that he goes through all these hardships, and it takes him 10 years to get to his goal and the way he does it is he perseveres he endures he doesn't give up he has this goal in mind and i think that is so instructive for what we need to do in life is to just keep persevering don't look to the right or left just keep doing what you need to do what god has called you to do look to him for the harvest plant those seeds just do what he's called you to do be where he wants you to be and everything else eventually will work out, even though, you know, you might come up and probably will come up with a lot of obstacles. So I hope that encourages you. Again, look in the link below for the resources that I mentioned. And I'm going to end with my favorite prayer, since I can find it again, because I don't know why I just can't memorize things these days. Anyway, so here is my favorite prayer, the Aaronic Prayer. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. All right, so I hope you find that encouraging. And if you, you know, would comment below what, what was encouraging about that and what you plan to do to get through all these, you know, obstacles of your own life odyssey, then let me know below. Love to hear from you. 
All right, so that's all. This is Dana Susan Beasley of angelarts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.